Welcome back to SA Live. Well, they work with everyone from Charles to the rodeo, and Freddy's Hats has been creating custom headwear, western wear, for the past 25 years. We visited this local mom and pop shop on the city's south side to see how they've been keeping a Texas tradition alive and well. So this is a family-run business here on the south side of San Antonio. Freddy, tell me what it means to be a part of this community. Well, it's uh, you know it's a big blessing because uh, we grew up here, and uh, to be actually to be able to stay here, you know, that's probably the biggest the biggest um, goal that everybody that starts a business wants to stay where they where they came out of, you know. Not a lot of people get to do that. And how long has Freddy's Hats been here? We've been here, we're working on our on our third year this year. We started our first year very strong, thank God. Uh, the second year, it was kind of loose. But now this year, it's, I mean, it's real promising. Hopefully everything goes back on track and we'll be rolling again. Now, you are a master shaper. You have been shaping hats for 20 years now, right? That's right, we've been shaping for about 20, 20 years. We started this as a, as a part-time hobby. Always had a regular job and did this at the, as a, as a part-time. Worked for my dad for many years when he sold his company. I went to go work for the oil field and when I was in the oil field, I was lucky enough to be able to get enough to, enough to start my own business. And when the oil field crashed, I started here. So what does it mean for you to finally see this come to fruition? Jesus, you know, sometimes I look at it and I still can't believe it, you know? I mean, it's not a lot of people have the opportunity to do this. There's a lot of people with a lot of talent, you know, but it's just one thing or another that doesn't click. And if we're, you're one of the lucky ones that it clicks for you, I mean, take advantage of the opportunity to write it. Now tell folks what you offer here, because it's more than just hats at Freddy's Hats, right? Exactly, we offer, I mean, a full, full menu of boots. I mean, we have if any kind of skin you want, we have it here. We offer hats, I mean, we sell American, we sell Rodeo King, and we sell our in-house brand. Other than that, I mean, we have caps, we have pretty much anything you're looking for, you know, but our specialty is boots, hats. Boots and hats, and then you can find belts too, right? You can find belts, yeah, all the boots come with the belts, exactly. <laughs> so you say that being a master shaper and, and finding, you know, Finding a good master shaper is like finding a good barber. A lot of people, a lot of people uh, um, say it's like finding a barber. Like me myself, I'll, I'll have a barber and I'll go with him for as many as long as I can. And then when I lose him, I'll, it's hard to find another one. You know what I mean? The same thing with the hat shapers. Once you find one that knows what you want, pretty much he doesn't even ask you get there, and he he helps you out, and you're good to go. So when someone comes in and say they, they don't really know what they're looking for, how do they find that perfect fit for them? Uh, a lot of people say, hey, you know what? I've heard a lot of people say, does the hat supposed to fit my face? Is the hat supposed to uh, be wide if I'm a wider person? We're in the 20th century. Right now, we can wear whatever we want. <laughs> you know, if you want to wear a taco hat and you're my size, you can go ahead. You can wear whatever you want. We'll fit you up and it's your choice. We do not shape the hat to what we think looks good on you. We shape the hat to what you want. here with us now and you are shaping a hat to fit Mike's <laughs> noggin over there and you already have done the top part and are kind of finishing it right now right yes ma'am we're working on the on the brim this is called the brim we're kind of trying to get it to the shape he kind of told us he wanted mm -hmm. so okay now how is it harder to do straw than is felt it's um it's a bit it's a bit more difficult to do a uh, uh, straw than it is felt felt's a lot more forgiving than the actual straws once you pretty much shape a straw you're kind of stuck there okay yeah unless and you said you got into this because you were working a job mm. as a teenager and one day the guy doing hats didn't show up and they're like, here, you're shaping hats now, right? He goes, yeah, uh, you want to shape hats? I go, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I go, well, <laughs> he no. goes, uh, just start shaping and four years, four years and messing up hats and I kind of got the hang of it. <laughs> now you say finding a good hat shaper is like finding a good barber, right? You know what? I uh, just yesterday, funny story. I was at a barber shop and I saw all these people come in, and there's about eight barbers, and each one has their own barber already, and it's pretty much with the hat shapers, the same same thing. You know, you find a good hat shaper, you don't want to go go try out another one. Huh. Now you are of course out there on the south side, right? Yes, we're on the south side. We're still there, and um, we've been there for. Two years now. Mm -hmm. We're going on three years, hopefully. 
All right, tell folks how to find you. All right, guys, we're on uh, social media. We're at um, an Instagram, Freddy's Hats, Freddy's underscore hats. Uh, we're on uh, Facebook, Freddy's Hats. You can find us uh, Tuesday through Sunday at 3950 South Santa Mora. All right, all right, and for more on that, if you'd like all that information, go to SALive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, guys.